Hey, thanks for tuning in today, guys. What I wanted to show you was a little bit about dimensioning using layout. The first questions I get are, how do I know I'm in the right format, uh, being metric or imperial? So first thing I would do, go File, Document Setup, Units. Just make sure if you want to be in decimal, be in decimal. If you want to be fractional, be in fractional. And same thing here, you can change this to millimeters, feet, or whatever. So for me, I like to be fractional, which is inches. And then, uh, so example here, I've got a line that is going to be four inches. So I'm going to type in four inches. And now how do we go about dimensioning this? Uh, so we can go ahead, click here, click here, click here. So the only issue is, as you can see right here, I am in millimeters, and I do not want to be in millimeters. I want to be in uh, inches. So from here, kind of the, the biggest mistake is, how do I change the settings? It doesn't seem like I can change settings anywhere. Nothing pops up. Um, so go to Window, up here, Window, Dimension Style. A lot of times this tab will get hidden, um, or you'll accidentally close it, or maybe it just doesn't pop up. So go ahead, click it. And from here, you can change everything. So currently, it was set at decimal millimeter. And if I wanted, I could go feet. That'll give me feet. Or I could go ahead and change this to architectural and inches. So this is typically uh, what I do mine in. Um, and so from here, we can go ahead. So as you noticed right there, it switched to decimal millimeter. So that wouldn't be efficient if you had to go and click every single one and change it. So from here, just click the tool. So now you're in the tool, and now change it, architectural, and bam. So now every dimension you do from here will, will be in architectural. So that's it, guys. It's as easy as that, but sometimes this can be easily overlooked. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the content. Bye.